Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. This is my buddy, John. We are at Lazy Bay Cottages here in Staniel Key, in the Exuma Keys, in the Bahamas. You know this crazy rascal, that's Bernard. <laughs> this is my boy, Donkey. And in that cooler is the hog that I just killed, what, three days ago? On the ranch. Big old fat sow, awesome. Cleaned it out, we've got it all quartered up in here. There you go, ice down. One of the fattest sows I've ever seen in my whole entire life. These guys are gonna take some home. But the moral of this video is Mr. John here. John is from the Philippines, and next May, me and my crew, we have the opportunity to go visit your country. We're gonna meet so many people, and what I want from all my Philippine friends out there, in the comments below, tell me where I should visit. We're gonna be there for three weeks, and I wanna see all the most beautiful things in the Philippines, because you guys are a huge part of our channel. Now, John, Will you make a Philippine dish out of some of the hog meat for me? Yes, tonight. Yeah? Yep. Pork adobo. Pork adobo. Drop a thumbs up if you wish you were here and join it with us. Anytime you come here to Lazy Bay Cottages in Staniel, they have every, I mean everything. It is so cool. And whenever I shot that old hog, I did not expect her to be so incredible. I mean, look at that meat. That is just beautiful. There you go. That's some two back straps all trimmed up. We left a little bit of fat on all of them just because it's gonna add so much flavor. So I was gonna actually throw away all the fat that was scrapped out. They took it and cut it into little slices and then seasoned it up. And what do you call it? Chicharron? Chicharron, yeah, in Tagalog. I thought we were just gonna get the adobo out of the back strap. No, we're getting adobo and chicharron. So stoked. I am so excited to be eating Filipino food from Filipinos and the thoughts that I am going to be going to the Philippines to meet all of y'all. That's so exciting. So what John's doing now, he's dicing up shallots and garlic and making a sauce to go on the chicharron. Serrano pepper? Yeah, you can use any peppers uh, as long as you can handle the heat. Mix. So basically, use as hot a pepper as you want, as mm -hmm. long as you can handle, handle the heat. Mm -hmm. mm. You guys, I'm getting sweaty just thinking about this. I am not a big pepper fan, but you know what? When in Rome, or when in Samuel Key, do yeah. as John does. The vinegar? White vinegar? Yep. Put a little bit of salt. Plenty of black pepper. Plenty of black pepper, huh? I love black pepper. Because vinegar is too strong. So you cut it. Cut it with water. A little sugar. Just a little bit. Yeah. Wow, that's good. I was not expecting that. So Mr. John, this is what I want you to do. Say hi to any of your friends or family mm -hmm. in your native tongue. I want you to tell them whatever you want in your native tongue. Just say hi. Whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Kamusta mga kababayan? Ako po si John na nagtatrabaho po si Stanley K. Nandito po kasama ko po kaibigan namin si Mr. Robert Arlington na nag-YouTube. Uh, may channel siyang Meat for Dinner. Kung gusto niyo po siyang makita. Alam ko. The oil is ready and we're just gonna take some of it. Uh, we're just gonna throw it all in there. Just chunk it all in there. Looks good to me. What we may do is just um, we'll just uh, just mix them around. There you go. This is so exciting. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. Watch this, you guys. Look at that. What? And that's just the appetizer. We gotta let it get nice and crispy. 
good old crispy duck. All right, y'all, this is the time we have all been waiting for. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. Shake it off. Oh, that looks delicious. Mmm. Yeah, exactly the same. Exactly the same? Yeah. That, honest to God, is one of the best things I've ever eaten in my entire life. Mm -hmm. That, I'm not, I swear to you guys, mm -hmm. I swear on my life, that's one of the best things I've ever eaten. Too much people doesn't like this because yeah. it's say too much so cholesterol. Good. But that so is amazing. Y'all are awesome. John, once again, you mm -hmm. outdid yourself. Well, that is amazing. Now, we're this is just the appetizer, y'all. We're getting ready to eat pork adobo. Yeah. The cubes. It's like a production around here, y'all. I'm out there cooking fish. Just got done cooking the, what is it called again? Chicharrones. Chicharrones, chicharrones. Mm -hmm. And now you're cutting up all the pieces into small cubes. Yeah. Bite-sized cubes. Bite-sized cubes. Usually they use the whole corn, whole pepper corn. But for me it's better for the ground pepper. There's a lot of uh, ways to cook adobo. All right, you guys, I want to give a special shout out to anybody that winds up coming to Staniel Key. If you come to Staniel Key, this man right here is Donkey. He freelances and he works with anybody that comes to this island, whether you need a captain to run the boat, somebody to dive with, or just someone to hang out with. This is the nicest Bahamian you're ever going to meet in your entire life. A lot of these guys have been on the boat with him. What do you guys think about Donkey? Oh, man, I love him. He's the best. Hey, he's man. pretty good. You know? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And even like, let's just say, let's say you come to the Exuma Keys and you need someone to run your boat, he could do it because depending on high or low tide, he knows where all the rocks are, all the sandbars, all the cool places to go. So I give you 100% my word. Donkey is the man. He won't lead you wrong, brother. Seriously, that dude right there is legit and it's hard to find good people. So one thing you don't know about Austin, my cameraman, is that Joker loves to fish and he's been working really, really hard lately. So I am now filming. John has continued to cook. Let's see what he's doing. Soy sauce, uh, silver swan, a local soy sauce in Philippines. It's a little bit. Maybe quarter, you know, quarter cup. Just mix it. Then let it simmer again, then 
afterwards we'll put some vinegar. A lot more vinegar. vinegar? Yep. All right. So it has been simmering for about 15 or 20 minutes. Vinegar? Yep, white okay. vinegar. Just a little bit. Let it sit. Mix it. And let the vinegar cook. And put a little bit of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce, you guys. Maybe one, two tablespoons or so. I wish you could smell how good this smells. It's amazing. It's like just, it's amazing. All right, you guys, so we've been cooking adobo pork. This pork is pork that I hunted on our ranch two or three days ago. Yes. You helped film or you helped trail it up with Miss Kensington over there. Now we got the Three Stooges and they're my taste <laughs> testers. Hold um, on, I wanna say my grandfather's Filipino. And yeah. I've had this before, so. Have you? Yeah. You haven't had, had it, it from a hog that I killed before? Oh. Have you? Hmm. <laughs> nope. I've never had this before. So basically what we're doing there, we take some rice, you put some of that love and goodness right on top, and that is a meal. You've got all your food groups. You've got your rice group, your meat group, your gravy group, and your good group. Thank you. Uh, Hold on, let's come right here. We're gonna do it all at once, because look, Mr. John, I love you, brother. I appreciate you showing us this amazing Filipino pork adobo. One, two, three. There you go. Do it up. Oh. Holy crud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going in for a second one. It tastes like beef. This is banging. It's like, dude, beef stew or something. Okay, I'm going in for another one. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. Feels like home. Look at him! Straight Filipino. Got the three finger fork action. That's how they eat, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Hey, to everybody out there, I don't care where you're from, if you enjoy our videos, I wanna say thank you. But to all the Filipinos out there, thank you so much. You guys have been such amazing support to me, my family, my channel, and to my friends. For that, I wanna say thank you very much. Everybody out there, you keep me going. You're the fuel in my tank. And for that, I say thank you. But this is all I got for you tonight. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.